I want to start my video off by giving my condolences to the Mayweather family because Roger Mayweather recently passed away and Roger Mayweather was always like my favorite Mayweather. I always thought he was funny. I used to always enjoy watching his interviews. I remember watching him like in the mid 2000s. He used to train uh Floyd Mayweather Jr. if you remember. He was uh always he, he was like the main trainer of Floyd Mayweather Jr. Uh he like took over from his father. His father used to train Floyd Mayweather, but then Roger and I remember watching the majority of fights where Roger was like the main trainer of Floyd Mayweather Jr. I just I, I always like he was always like my favorite favorite Mayweather. So rest in peace to him and my thoughts and prayers are out to, for his family. But now I want to talk about this. A boxer by the name of Ishe Smith. Now, Ishe Smith is a fighter who used to fight under the Mayweather brand, a TMT. I believe that's what it's called, Mayweather's brand. And he, I believe he fought at 154. But, he, yeah, he was like a super a middleweight. No, a, yeah, like a light middleweight, uh, welterweight, slash welterweight. I even think he fought at, at, at middleweight at one point. But he came out with a tweet, and I'm going to read you his tweet. I'm just going to call it a spade, a spade here. Black fighters will do anything to discredit a white popular fighter. As much racism in this game that ain't it. The glove controversy is one of the dumbest things I've ever fucking seen. A heavyweight fought with a glove half on. Now, you could imagine. Now, l let's keep in mind, Ishe Smith is a black guy, right? This guy has received nothing but hate. He's been called a coon. He's been called all types of shit because when you're a black guy, unfortunately, this is the truth. When you're a black guy and you uh, defend a white fighter, you get labeled a coon. You know, this is something I've noticed, especially being a boxing up, you know, a, a person who uploads videos and a part of the boxing community. Whenever like a, a black dude or like a black uploader, a, a black boxing uploader uh, talks about like defends uh, a, a, let's say a white fighter or talks good about them or this or like criticizes a black fighter. Like let's, let's just use Deontay Wilder, for example. He gets called, I've seen people, like, I've, I've re read in their comments, I've seen people call them coons. I've seen people make videos of these dudes and call them coons. And, and say shit like, you, you working, you dancing for the white man. And stupid shit like that. And this guy has, and, and Ishe Smith has basically come out and said that he felt that that glove nonsense was basically, uh, a, 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 you know, absolutely pathetic he didn't he doesn't believe it he even made a video showing you know giving you his thoughts and i'll read some some more things that he wrote on that he tweeted seriously think about that shit it makes no fucking sense there is no advantages of it again i have to play the race card here because it's what started it in the first place blacks mad wilder was KO'd by a fighter they think was shitty they drunk the kool-aid <laughs> and by the way he also talked about like <clears throat> excuse me like the fact that um other fighters in the past did what Fury did when it came to slapping. And he showed, like, he talked about guys like Ali. And he guess, hey, I guess we should be accusing Ali of being a cheat, right? And he even showed, he even showed like, uh, clips on his uh, Twitter feed that, you know, look, I guess he was, you know, he was, that he was, like, uh, flapping his uh, his uh, gloves during uh, a padding, a pad workout. And he was, like, basically making fun of the situation. And he even called out like Young Pharaoh. He said that it's it's crazy how people uh, believe a guy, a fan, who admitted that he's not even a real boxing fan, and yet they don't believe him, who's a guy who's been a professional boxer for decades, decades, and he's been doing this since he was eight years old. He started this 30 years ago, but they want to believe a guy on the internet like Young Pharaoh. This is another thing he said, uh, E.J. Smith. If this was controversy, if this controversy was surrounding Wilder, they would be saying it's false and there is no way. I fought bare knuckle, worst pain I've ever experienced in my hands. Barely made it out of the third round. But you're telling me he fought 12 rounds like this? Crazy. Just give that man his props and move on. Now, listen. What Ishe Smith is saying is unfortunately true. A lot of the people, like he, the, the people he's talking about, are the boxing fans because they are the real the, the thing is is this and when it comes to boxing fans 
there are some boxing fans that are basically they're I don't know if they're racist, but they're like they have like a, a racist agenda, right? They don't like it when a fighter who's basically who looks like them, who's black, loses to a white guy, all right? Because in their mind, the black guy always has to beat the white guy, right? And in my opinion, this is how the LDBC are. Because I, a lot of these LDBC dudes, um, they always, and I mean always, criticize uh, fighters who happen to not be black. You know, you you see in the videos, they be criticizing them. They be saying shit like, they be saying shit like, how good is uh, Alexander Yusek? Even though he became undisputed champion at Cruiserweight, but apparently he's not that good. He's a fake he, he, he's a he's a he, he's a pretender, right? So so they'll call somebody like Alexander Yusek, a white guy, a pretender, a guy that he's basically not as good as he, he's not the real deal. But they'll turn around and he became undisputed in his division, by the way. But then but in the same token, they'll turn around and be like, oh, and by the way, uh, Deontay Wilder, he's the number one heavyweight. So how the fuck is uh, Yusek a pretender, not the real deal, even though he became undisputed? At his division, but Deontay Wilder won one belt, and he's the number one heavyweight. It, it doesn't make sense. And these dudes um, are, peop- are people, in my opinion, that don't like it when a when their fighter, the guy that they're rooting for, loses, especially to a white guy. And that's why they make videos like this, trying to discredit the guy. And Ishe Smith knows what he's talking about. You could see it in his fucking comment section. And like, if you see his his Twitter and you and you read the comments, there he's being attacked and being called a coon because he said this, but he's just being real. He's he's being he's telling the truth. A lot of these LDBC dudes are pissed off that Deontay Wilder lost to a white guy, so they're trying to make up these excuses and 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 say that oh no, actually the only reason why this white guy won was because he cheated. He cheated against Deontay Wilder. That's why he won. That's what they're trying to convince their fuck. Dude, you see, if you read the LDBC comments, you could see the racism in the comments. You could see the hatred for white fighters in the comics. Oh, man, that dirty ass motherfucker. They, listen, you could tell it's about race. They make it about race. They make it about race, these people. They're talking about the white man this, the white man that. It's obvious that they're pissed off that a white guy beat a black fighter. They're black hope, basically. It's obvious. All right? And I agree with Deontay, what, what uh, excuse me, Ishaq Smith said when he talked about that. If this, if the roles were reversed and if Deontay Wilder was being accused of uh, using flappy gloves or hitting him with his bare knuckles and shit, Fury with bare knuckles, they would be denying it. And that's true. They would be denying it. Not just that. If, if Wilder were to, would have lost to a black fighter, none of this would have come to light. None of this. They're just doing this because he lost to a white fighter, in my personal opinion. And you heard what Ishe Smith said there. He said that he fought bare knuckle before, and it and it hurt so much he couldn't go three rounds. So how the hell could somebody like Fury go twelve rounds? Anyway, guys, that's all I have to say. Uh, what do you guys think of Ishe Smith's statements? And uh, yeah, I'm out. Peace. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you enjoyed the video.